This video is going to be an unboxing video followed by some commentary later. You can tell it's the Ultra Studio Monitor 3G by Blackmagic Design. The packaging looks nice. I'm going to try and carefully open the box. I like the fact that it is wrapped in cellophane, even if it's kind of a pain in the butt to open. As you can probably notice, the one corner is slightly dented. That really doesn't bother me. It came delivered in one of those bubble wrap envelopes. They don't usually package small items like this in a shipping box. There's not much to it. There's some instruction manuals, you know, just kind of like a welcome thank you for buying the product. Blackmagic Design does that with all of their products. They let you know there isn't a driver. You have to download the driver from the website. They're letting you know you get DaVinci Resolve for free, but it's not the paid version. It's just, you know, the free version that everybody can get. I'll put the paperwork off to the side for now and get to the actual product. It's in there really snug. It's kind of hard to pull out, but I'd rather have it nice and snug than a loose and sloppy fit where it can, you know, get jostled around really easy. This product has an SDI connector, an HDMI connector, and a Thunderbolt 3 connector. There's not much to it. It's strictly for outputting. This will not record. This device is really super small, especially when I compare it to the size of my Intensity Shuttle. Obviously, it doesn't have all the analog I.O. options that the Intensity Shuttle has. That's one reason why it can be really super small. This device gets powered by the Thunderbolt 3 cable, which is nice because you don't have to worry about a third-party power adapter that could get lost, stolen, or chewed up by your dog. As you folks can tell, Blackmagic Design does have an Ultra Studio Recorder 3G. I think it's great that they offer two products for $115 rather than combine the products together into one product that would probably be about $220. If you want to do real-time playback to professional AV monitors using Final Cut Pro 10, DaVinci Resolve, or Premiere Pro, you just have to pay $115 for the Ultra Studio monitor. On the other hand, if you want to do live streaming or video capture, you only have to buy the Ultra Studio recorder. Neither one of these products supports 4K. You might think these look identical to the Ultra Studio Mini Recorder and the Ultra Studio Mini Monitor. Those use Thunderbolt 2, and they also only supported Rec. 601 and Rec. 709, where these devices support Rec. 601, 709, and Rec. 2020. Blackmagic Design does have a Thunderbolt 3 device that does support 4K. It has the I.O. options for input and output, but as you can tell, it has a super expensive price tag as well. I should end this video by stating I have already connected the Ultra Studio Monitor 3G to my computer. Everything works just fine. I hope to have a tutorial type demonstration video for this particular product in another two to three weeks. If you found this video helpful or informative, you might want to watch some of my other videos.